All right, we're right back. So before we start this recording, uh, like I said, like the last video, a couple shout outs. Uh, shout out to my boy, Knock, uh, big old retro gamer on Twitch. I'll make sure I put his Twitch thing in my description below. And shout out to Shinobis. Uh, shout out to her, too. She's a really cool, really cool uh, gamer. Uh, she plays like, so like Overwatch and a little bit of League of Legends and a mixture of games, something like that, too. So I want to give those two big shout outs. Uh, their Twitch uh, channels will be in my description below. So. Uh, let's do we have the room of this crap? Let's see what this orb is. Ooh, do apologize there. Oh yes, and uh, stay tuned at the end of this video. It'll fade into the bonus one where uh, I will be doing a um, Revealing of that extra crap that's on my sorceress that I was gonna do that just never got to reveal It's like all rares and uniques as we normally do for like an item reveal Ooh, I almost went to start that time <laughs> It's one of the most important things that we get to keep reading to do <laughs> Usually most people have a second monitor for OPS so that you can monitor your recording and it has a little timer that shows you how long you've been streaming or recording more, but I just use my tablet, so. But we're gonna get some rattlesnake boots and then grab an amulet on the way. The sun has never shone here. Howdy, boys. See, this is what happens when you drink too much. When you go red and you sit in the sun and Turn to these guys. There was always that that theory of people who were saying that uh, was it people who were like lizard people or some crap like that, reptile people or something like that. You know, they were just secretly wearing like human skin. And, you know, Earth has been taken over by the lizard men or some shit. It's like some stupidest theories. Kind of like the one where uh, flat earthers were. The Earth is flat. It doesn't make a like of sense that it to be flat. Right. Hey, people want to believe what they want to believe. got a word challenge for you guys and I've always spelled this wrong and sometimes I spell it right I know it's a lot is I know it's a common word that a lot of people actually spell wrong which they think is spelled correctly in the comments below don't look it up spell the word restaurant it's one of those words you think you know how it's spelled and then it's like immediately auto -fixed. you know how to spell it correctly without looking it up but in the comments below and let's see how many people actually spell it right Still getting a decent amount of experience for even being level 25. Since we should technically level 25, you should be in like um, at the end of Act 3 ish to begin Act 5. I believe Dia oh, there's, uh, I think it's Helmet. Uh, I believe Diablo in like normal difficulties. I think Mephist is like what, level 27 or some crap like that? I think um, Diablo's like. 30? 35? Somewhere there? The builds up to max level in uh, number of that's like 40, 45. Reason why he's such a pain in the ass to, to deal with. But I do not. Oh, and we did check out the. 
did full test with the whole uh, tank that's thing. I might have said in another video. And there's Arctic Spell too. Uh, Tankard's uh, at least the pieces that you could actually use because it's not how you use the pick. Uh, it does decent amounts, but uh, it doesn't really stack up too much difference than Saigons. I would say it's probably second to Saigons. Uh, you are you get more damage, but you're actually sacrificing quite a bit of your resistance. And that was like um, like half my resistances just for an, a bigger boost in damage. So, it's like, eh, if I was rocking the full set, which requires to have to use that military pick, it might be a better story. Oh, we got a blue man. What do we got here? Haze Ren of the Unholy. Well, now you're dead. I mean, he just, he just hit me for like, six damage. It's like, you are not touching me. It is not happening. My defenses are way too damn high. You can put a dent in my health. Which means usually with like even a normal difficulty, claw vipers can still mess you up, even a high enough defense or a good chunk of health, they can still mess you up if they continuously just uh, knock you back like a goddamn pinball. But um but since the Barbarian and Paladin are usually the most tankiest characters there is, I mean, you stack up gear enough and they can get touching you. Especially if you have something like a Tiger takes damage and just continuously stack that up, which is just a form of thorns. Uh, you can use the wipe out of We just scoured this entire goddamn map. What the hell? Uh, what? Scott. Oh, we missed that one goddamn area right over there. Hey, let's give you a poison shrine in a physical combat area. <laughs> you may come across one or two sarcophagi just in case. <laughs> it's like playing this game. Oh, and uh, why well, I think about this too? Uh, next Monday, there will not be a, a movie or game trailer reaction because I'm going for my driver's permit on Monday. So, uh,. I will be able to down most of the entire day, so that would be one day you guys will not actually do it, so. And, uh, what the hell's his name again? Fangskin. Uh, he can be somewhat kind of tricky to new players, uh, because most new players get a decent amount of gear and will tend to over underestimate uh, him, and uh, because players get uh, that is a more difficult amount of players you're going to have in the game uh, because of things can be lightning enchanted. He can seriously do some serious damage to your champion if you're not careful. But even with high amount of lightning resistance, uh, it's best to try to like, kite him as best as you can. I mean, he barely touches any damage, maybe 30 ish damage with that. It is good to know that the sun shines once again. Ain't that the truth, brother? Ain't that the truth? Um, we have enough of these little charms, anyways. I usually just say keeping them, anyways, because they help out for quite a bit for like beginning characters. But after that, I mean, just never really worth keeping them unless they give you like extra life or some crap. And we're looking at nine and a half minutes left, which gives us should give us plenty of time to enter Arcane Sanctuary. Whether or not we'll actually get to the summoner is a different story. Because we play the guess which way it is game. Excellent. And usually 90% of the time you will be wrong. 
and then uh, back in the day when map hack was still a thing on uh, Battle.net, that's what a lot of people used to where it would automatically show you where the um, the uh, quest uh, area was, sort of like summoners uh, placements, you know, there's the four different areas and map hack would automatically just show you where his place was, you know, the bother of the three, and that's what people were using to uh, rush people through all the hell difficulty and get high ruins and crap like that, but uh, Blizzard said no, you know, that's the form of cheating and you're not allowed to use that and started banning people and stuff like that and people had to play it more secretly and stuff. But, uh, I've never used map hack. I just did the old-fashioned way. If you have enough fast enough fast cast rate, I mean, with the source source, you just zoom through anyway. So it may take you like a few minutes longer than it normally would, but it ain't worth getting your account banned. And sometimes Blizzard, if Blizzard at the time was if they were nice enough, they may ban your account for a few weeks. Oh, oh, that's not what that was. Uh, if they were really feeling having an itchy trigger finger, they just permanently ban your account altogether. That's the one one of the annoying waypoints to get knifed to, because you have to go like all the way around through like three different jail cells just to get the goddamn thing. It's like, it's not right. uh, you may not be able to play the music, but I have it turned down to try to equalize it. But this uh, act two, um, music I actually like the best. I can't remember exactly what she was saying. I had to look it up because uh, it's definitely a form of Arabic, but I don't remember what it was about. Uh, it's like one of the few uh, like Diablo 2 uh, ambient sounds. It's like very calm. These archers can't even touch me. They do two damage a hit, and there's like at least ten of them. So that's maybe twenty damage out of like three hundred eighty-three health. You ain't doing nothing. <laughs> just please, just sit down. Oh, this is the right way, anyways. Bro, we're in a positive level three. This gentleman is a random one too because sometimes you'll be in this room and sometimes you'll be in, a, in the uh, room guarding the portal or sometimes you mean the next fallen room. His spawn is kind of random. It's also dependent on the map too because sometimes there's no openings here. It's just a solid wall. I just stand, stand there as a human shield and let my mercenary just pick you off. Alright, we got six minutes left. One could get lost in you. Alright, put your guesses down. Which way do you think it is? I always choose a straight path first because it's the most easiest to navigate. Now, this is where you could use leap or the leap attack. More so leap because it ends up putting the uh, pushes the enemies away on like leap attack where it will actually just uh, take that extra second or two for the to leap and just attack the enemy. Which can be really annoying for speedrunners and like that. This is really speedrunning. I don't know. Uh, Arcan Sanctuary is definitely one of the best places to actually grind for experience. If you really, you really need that level. Useless to me. Oh, another grand charm. You spoil us with treasures. Light resistance 16, not bad. Uh, one of the actual areas that lightning is actually uh, beautiful because of, uh, lightning uh, spheres will hit extremely hard, especially if you really have like, low light resistance. Uh, even something with full on cycles, which will give you like 50, maybe 60 ish lightning resistance, uh, those things can still pack a wall. Another grand charm. And 
Remember, this is on player 7, and I'm just annihilating these guys. Not one shot, man. I'm still pretty much doing more than enough damage to reward thing, but I'll put a dent in. 33... 5 dexterity, that's actually really good. I'm actually gonna want that. I don't think they'd be better than anything I have. 24 maximum damage, 50 poison resistance, 40 attack rain. Oh, I do apologize for my mic there. Nope. But that still is really good. Uh, that'd definitely be pretty good for a, um, like an Amazon or something like that. If you really need that extra dexterity or even a, a paladin if you're trying to get that max block. Which is kind of funny since the way that they said that because 75% uh, is actually the max block rate you can actually get with it doesn't matter which with which uh, shield that you use or that they start to put in. But uh, enemies like Diablo, Bale, and Mephisto, some of the big time bosses like that, still have a 95% chance to hit you, so it's just that reduction of your block rates. No matter what, again, you still have about a 20% chance to chance block. these boys out. Let's line up this is the right way. And it is. Uh, of course, we'll clear the cannon and magi, uh, but we'll get uh, around. You know, fighting Gurriel's tomb. I might clear up Gurriel's tomb for ones that are not actually Gurriel's tombs, just for that extra experience. We just gained a level. Uh, but we won't actually enter Gurriel's tomb itself. I'm trying to save any boss fights for the next one, you know, so. See how well she clears up these guys. He hit me for a decent amount of damage. <laughs> she's still kind of I'd have to like, upgrade her bow because uh, she's 25, so there's one extra. Uh, just for If you don't get to summer, that's fine. Then, um, basically, what I will do is I will just clear our extinction anyways. But once we find the actual summer's path, um, then I'm not going to go beyond that. So it will allow me just to grind an arcane sanctuary and uh, do any extra experience with that. And then we'll, after that, the next week following videos will proceed to actually kill the summoner and uh, Doriel himself. Uh, so we're sitting about a minute here. Uh, so let's go get uh, I'm gonna end the video here, the barbarian, and then it's gonna fade over to my sorceress, and then we'll identify all of that other crap that I have that's been stored away for the longest time, and then the video will end for that. Alright, so stay tuned. Okay, we're here for this. This was the extra stuff that I was going to do a short video for, but uh, work eventually just caught up and it started getting more and more busier, so uh, let's see what we get in here. Elja's, was that? 60%. High Lord's Wrath. Okay, uh, this is actually an amulet that a lot of people actually try to get. Uh, the one skills, the 20% increased attack speed, uh, the, the deadly strike, the lightning resistance. Uh, I know this is actually a pretty valuable-esque uh, amulet. So probably in Battle.net you may be able to get like an Ist rune out of it. Maybe slightly higher than that. Talrush's amulet again, are you kidding me? Oh, this is going to be a great week. <laughs> uh, like I said, out of like 9... 12-ish amulets or whatever the green amulets there are in the game uh, Getting tower rushes is extremely difficult in my opinion. It's still the second easy to, second easiest to get to tower rushes uh, armor But we just got another tower rushes amulet. So that is awesome. So we already decided to make another uh, Sorceress we have tower rushes for that um, Oh, yeah, Neil Striker. Uh, we do have this on my barbarian that uh, I'm going to be eventually giving to my uh, paladin, which we'll eventually be doing once we actually uh, beat the game with our barbarian. Mounds. 
Uh, 170 attack rating. Yeah. Uh, another Serpent Mask Skin Magi. 30, you're going to be 27. I believe 30 is a perfect you can get. Sandtrax. Um, I think it's about 160% is perfect defense. Uh, not exactly sure. Uh, yeah, that one's okay. Actually, wait, is that the one I think it is? Yeah, it is. Uh, I might give that to my Barbarian, actually. Because it has that resistance and those attributes will come in really handy. War Belt, another T Gods. I believe it's like two, 200 is the best you can get, so it's a 186. Uh, Saracen's Chance, uh, Decent, uh, not the one I was looking for. We're looking for a. a is, it, it's not, is it Cure? No, it's a Mars Kaleidoscope. Uh, one we don't actually have. Necromancer. It's not bad. Oh, that's a pile of crap. That's like me getting sold. Oh, fast cast rates, which is useless for an Amazon. Decent resistances. For, not bad for low, low level one, but kind of useless. Uh, garbage. Uh, another train's built. Uh, never got trains built on Battle.net, but now we have two of them on single player. Uh, Ithros. I don't know about that, so we have another one of those. Garbage. Garbage. Cyberbs. Don't need that. Garbage, especially with a little 65 ring, that's just not even worth it. Chance guards, 27, ooh, that is ugly. 40% is the best you want to get. Uh, garbage. Another mount. More of this goddamn, not with the mount that's ever in here. I'm gonna sell these damn things. They're completely useless. Sell that too, because I already have one. More crap, what do you know? More crap. Two to war cries. Oh, let's see, the resistances would have been a little better. If there was like resistance like 13, say like 15, 20 to mana, that'd be really good. Uh, yeah, I guess I can hold on for it now, but that resistances would be the real killer for that. Two combat skills, two strength. That's not bad for a little 30 amulet, for, uh, especially for a pal paladin. Garbage. Assassin. 24 to strength, 30 for life, 38 to mana, 20 resistances. Um, that's not bad. Whether or not I will be doing another assassin playthrough, I have absolutely no idea. Uh, another, ew, 22 geeths? 20% is the worst you can get, and that's right there. Another chance guards, 27. Ugh, get that garbage out of here. You hear my fan in the background, so I do apologize. Uh, one to war cry is 15. That's not bad. Especially level 33. Uh, shape shifting. Uh, we already did our shape shifting druid on hardcore mode. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Uh, oh yes, the war hat. God, I don't remember where the hell I got this goddamn thing. I think it was like Mephisto or something like that, or was it cows? I don't remember, this is one of the ones that I actually kept that I was really excited for because I'm pretty sure I know what it is, which it should be kind of like Cow King's Crown or some crap like that. I think it's like one of the three pieces that you can get from Cow King, uh, which I even looked up that even if you do kill Cow King Unpluggy, apparently you can still make cows, so you can farm as many times as you want. Uh, this is one of the ones I was actually saving for that period of time and then just never bothered identifying it because I got caught up with work and shit. Yeah, Cow King's Horns, excuse me. Uh, 75 defense, half regeneration, attack damage of 10, 35, ugh. For the level 25 thing, and as rare as this damn thing is, it's a piece of garbage. <laughs> I expect something a little better. I mean, the attack rate damage of 10 might be really nice, but that's really about it. That's kind of crap. Uh, let's see here. Two passive magic skills, ugh, god. Passive is one of the worst ones you get for an Amazon. 15. Uh, now the Jalas. Uh, Jalas is 
the best druid helmet you can actually get. There is Cerberus's Fang or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, that one, I, I'm pretty sure it's more used for PvP than anything else, but it's almost rarely, extremely rarely used. People will only use it if it's completely necessary, otherwise they go for Jala's main. And, um, final one, Mastery, get that garbage out of here, level 60, wow. Uh, pretty sure that was everything. I just double check here. Yeah, it's like all our guardian angels and crap like that we have. Um, Hermaculous. Yep, okay, that's a bit of a shot. So, we got Tower Rushes, now Tower Rushes Amulet, so that right there just pretty much made my week, so I'm kind of really happy about that. And, um, that's really about it. So, hope you've been staying safe, health is anti's. Make sure to drop a like, please subscribe, leave comments below, and, um, Leave a comment below. Do you still play the original Diablo 2 or original Diablo 1? And do you think Diablo 1 will ever get it remastered by Blizzard? And I'll make sure to check all those comments out. See you guys.